Today, on Running to Him, whoever pays attention to the Word discovers God. If you are joining us in going through Proverbs, today's reading is Proverbs chapter 16, verses 16 through 33, and we will concentrate on verse 20. Proverbs sixteen twenty says this, He who gives attention to the Word will find good, and blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. Now, the art of Bible translation has always amazed me. Tony and I have two friends who are involved with Wycliffe Bible Ministries, and some of the stories they have and they share about their translation experience are amazing. This passage in Proverbs is no different. If you looked up the NIV and New American Standard, English Standard Version, Tanakh, which is the modern Hebrew Bible, and the Septuagint, the 220 B.C. translation of the Old Testament, you will find some differences in the translation of the verse. But all have the same idea that is the attention to the word which gives success, and someone who trusts in God will be blessed. Today, there are some groups who translate success and blessing much the way the Hebrews did in Jesus' day. Success and blessing equal monetary and other physical blessings. Other groups take a different approach. Now, I like the way that the Tanakh translates the verse, He who is adept in a matter will attain success. Happy is he who trusts in the Lord. I also like the New English translation, Whoever gives thought to the word will discover good, and blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. Success is a matter of trusting God. Both of these in the New Testament standard recognize that understanding God's word will bring success in life, not necessarily riches, but wisdom and satisfaction. Now, frankly, today we need a large amount of understanding of God's word and its application into our lives. There are certainly enough voices out there, but which ones or one should we listen to? Those who hold to a rigid idea of sola scriptura, meaning only the scriptures, tend to teach that you are the master arbiter when it comes to understanding God's word. But look at all the translations and you'll quickly get an idea that there are many ways to look at what the Bible teaches. Now I'm going to say something that's probably going to get me into a little trouble. We as Protestants and lovers of God's Word need to go back past the 1800s or 1500s to the earliest centuries of Christianity and look how how those closest to Christ and the apostles dealt with the Word. Now, we don't have to access everything, so there are some things which will have gaps, but we will have resources which open our eyes to a greater understanding than just looking at the writers and preachers in the 20th or 21st century. Our world of understanding should be greater than that which is around us. So today I'd like you to look up some letters which Clement of Rome, Ignatius, Polycarp, Irenaeus, John Climacus, and others wrote to discover their wisdom and their walk with Christ. Whoever pays attention to the Word discovers God. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.